Hello, welcome to the European Open Briefing for Thursday, January the 12th, 2017. I'm Rafi Bardian, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be looking at what's happening in the currency markets today. So the main talk in the markets this morning is, of course, uh, the press conference by Donald Trump yesterday, which was his first since winning the U.S. presidential election. Uh, he rather dis disappointed uh, the markets, though, as he didn't really re reveal much about his economic policies, and that led to uh, a sell-off for the dollar, and we saw U.S. Treasury yields fall back. Uh, the yen is firmer this morning um, as a result of that. Uh, the Mexican peso, on the other hand, is one of the few currencies uh, that is falling against the US dollar as the peso has been hit by uh, threats by Donald Trump to impose uh, a border tax. Um, in other news, uh, the Bank of England governor yesterday uh, in his testimony to Parliament said that Brexit no longer poses the biggest risk to the UK economy. Uh, and we're seeing gold continue to edge higher. It touched a seven week high uh, as a result of the, the dollar sell off. So let's start uh, with the dollar yen pair. We can see the um, the, the dollar uh, falling rather sharply uh, since the, once the Donald Trump's press conference began uh, and uh, it, it's currently actually just fallen below 114 level. Uh, so US President-elect Donald Trump, he didn't really reveal anything new about his policies. Uh, Marcus had been uh, waiting his press conference for further direction. Uh, so um, the dollar rally appears to have fizzled out for the time being. Uh, there were some other developments though. He did uh, say that um, drug pricing in the United States is uh, is too high uh, and he uh, proposed some changes to, to lower the drug pricing in the US and that hit pharmaceutical shares. Um, so the pharmaceutical shares in the US the stock indices, they suffered rather badly yesterday. Uh, in Asia markets though, there was some relief this morning in the Asian session. Uh, shares were up uh, across Asia as Donald Trump didn't really mention much about uh, relations with China, uh, so that uh, eased concerns of, um, say, uh, worsening relations between the two countries. Uh, so let's have a look now at what's happening with US Treasuries. We can see that they hit the lowest since November 30. Um, the lower the yields have, are proving a drag for the dollar uh, and helping the yen higher. The yen is up across, up against most major currencies this morning. The dollar index uh, hit a one month low of 101.14. Um, so the dollar is down pretty much against uh, most major pairs. Uh, the Mexican peso is bucking the trend though because the peso hit uh, an all time, another all time uh, low against the dollar. The, the dollar rose to above 22 pesos uh, yesterday and the Mexican central bank is struggling to contain the peso slide. It's struggling to, it is intervening to prevent the slide but it's not having much success. Uh, and this comes after Donald Trump said that he's in favor of having a border tax if uh, US companies continue to move production across the border to Mexico. So what, what, uh, what he's proposing is that he would um, tax uh, US companies or US imports uh, for specifically those companies that uh, produce goods for the US but they produce them outside of the US in, in countries such as Mexico. Uh, and here we see gold, it's broken above the 1,200 level. Uh, this is the first time it's broken above that level since November 23rd. Uh, and it also risen back above the 50-day moving average. So gold is looking a little bit more uh, bullish again. Uh, and that's mainly due to overall uh, increased appeal of safe haven assets. In other currencies, the euro and the pound, uh, they were helped higher by the dollar slide. The euro is back above the 1.06 dollar level. The pound is back about 1.22. The pound actually was down rather sharp yesterday. It hit, it actually fell below 1.21 dollars. Uh, so we have a bit of a bounce back. Uh, the Bank of England Governor Mark Honey, he appeared yesterday in Parliament 
uh, this didn't have too much impact on the fi uh, on the currency markets, uh, but it was still of interest, of course, because uh, the Bank of England did provide very gloomy forecasts on what would happen to UK growth if uh, Britain was to vote to leave the EU. Uh, and since those forecasts haven't materialized, the Bank of England has come under a bit of attack from both the UK press and UK politicians. Uh, so Mark Carney was the defending uh, the bank's forecasts yesterday against the um, the Treasury Select Committee, uh, but he did admit that uh, Brexit no longer poses the biggest domestic risk, risk to the UK economy uh, as things appear to be stable for the time being. Uh, although he did say that uh, it would be good to have a transitional arrangement uh, for UK companies once the UK is out of the EU so that there is no um, say uh, uh, the, so there's no like big dramatic uh, immediate impact uh, without a deal which would lead to a disorderly exit um, and finally let's have a look now at what's happening with all other currencies particularly commodity currencies and of course oil oil um, posted the rather surprise rebound yesterday uh, because it wasn't doing too well at early in the day uh, and then we also saw a big uh, build in US crude stocks from the latest US Energy Department inventories data uh, despite that though oil posted a bit of a rally uh, the weaker dollar did help uh, oil make um, uh, those gains we see US crude is uh, back about $52 a barrel uh, reports that we've, we're seeing increased demand from China and of course the, the fact that um, the major oil producers so far appear to be sticking in to the, to the oil deal in cutting output. Uh, that's uh, having a positive impact on oil prices. Uh, and we have that big rebound as well in the Aussie, in the Kiwi and the Canadian dollar as well. Um, if we move on now to the economic calendar, we can see it's a fairly quiet day. We've got industrial production data out of the Eurozone. Uh, in the US, uh, there's not much uh, major data. We, we have the weekly jobless claims and import prices as well. Uh, but we might see some action from uh, Fed speakers coming up. We, we have quite a few speakers uh, from the Fed uh, appearing later today. We've got Philadelphia Fed President Pat Patrick Harker. We've got Charles Evans, Dennis Lockhart, Robert Kaplan and James Bullard. We don't know if all of them will mention monetary policy. Uh, but the, the more important one will be, of course, Fed Chair Jan Yellen. Uh, again, we don't know whether or not she will mention monetary policy in her um, when she makes uh, when she will host a webcast in a town hall meeting uh, so um, that's due coming up later in the day uh, and that's uh, definitely one to watch that's it from me thank you very much for watching and have a great day